All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. With Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, usually you don't think of the cornerback coming in for a no-gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense. Big play for the defense. Here we go now. Green. Mahomes to throw on second down. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Here we go now. Green, third and nine. Now here's Mahomes, and this is going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep for New England, Julian Edelman. It's a four-yard return following a punt of 49. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing on first down is Brady. Slant route caught by Edelman. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. The former seventh round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. He did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 48-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, what they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. A plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. 
Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Ready to throw on second down. For the sideline, that's taken in by Allen. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Third and long, it's Brady. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by the safety here, Ron Parker. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. He was looking for Gronk that time. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. Here we go. Blue. The first carry now. This is Williams. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Shut down, shut down. Here we go now. Green, 90. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Now they'll run it on the toss. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He makes a wonderful play there off the corner, protecting his side of the field. Oh, that reminds me of the great defenses of old, doesn't it? The Pittsburgh Steelers, Steel Curtain. They would not let you get on the field if you could only do one thing. You had to be a complete guy, and you had to be able to tackle. Now, I know I've said this before, but you know I wasn't alive when the Steel Curtain was playing. I, I know them, but I, I just want to let you know I wasn't alive. I'm going to keep peppering that in there, and one of these days you're going to think that you were. <laughs> It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Ready! Blue 45! And they'll go with a ground attack here, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Four down, four down. Here we go. Blue, four down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got some space here. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive, much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again.
He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. But well, obviously they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Dumps that off to Ware. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Throwing now is Mahomes. Toward the pylon, caught! And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A gain of nine there, sets up second and goal. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Second and goal from the one. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Extra point splits the uprights. And it's now a 7-0 game. now to kick this one away. Now it's Patterson. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Brady on the bootleg. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep. And the Chiefs are going to get him. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. Go, but they face go. a second and long to start things out. Hey, go down, go down. 20, 20. Go. And on the ground they go with a running back. And yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets them back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. On play action, it's Brady. And a big loss here as he's taken down. D Ford able to track him down for a loss of 13, and it'll bring up fourth down. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. Nearly a huge return, as it is still a very good one. 24 yards. And now here comes Kansas City. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run, and vice versa. Three, I will continue three, that, nine, and when they finally three. draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Here we go now. On second down, here's Mahomes. He'll leave this for where? And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. And that is incomplete. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, oh. two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Back near his goal line. Here's Brady. Caught on the right side by Dorsen. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, 
you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. with a fourth down. I know it's the first half, but it's still hard to curb the enthusiasm for that stop. Third and one, and the offense can't get there. The defensive team has got to feel very good about themselves. Great job out leveraging the offense. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 37. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Now a handoff looking right. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Probably a little bit of a surprise call there on third and inches that they decided to throw the football. And how difficult is that for an offensive line when they look up and see all those extra bodies coming at them? Tons of bodies coming in. They get a huge sack there. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the Patriots take over. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski. Complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. The completion good for three and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. From the gun, it's Brady. And a dump off to White. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Call it a gain of three. And that'll bring up a third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. From the gun on third down, Brady. And he will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. Brady now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. Right 20. 
And they'll run it here. And this will go for five up to the 33. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down, here's Brady. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. From the gun on third down, Brady goes underneath here to White, and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Call it a three-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Well, that's third down 101. You gotta go to the marker, know where it is. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Chiefs are gonna take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Buddy, 390. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Green, green, 39. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And an alley to run. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Four down, four down. Buddy. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Ready, green, 90. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And his throw is incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. And it's third and five. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. The Chiefs on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. To throw, it's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. You don't want no problems. You don't want no problems with me. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. 51 yards on the punt there, and that will come the offense as they take over. 
And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. On first and ten, here's Brady. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. D. Ford in there to get him for his second sack of the night. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. My 20! My 20! Working from the gun, it's Brady. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Phillip Dorsett, 91 yards. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. So from back deep, deep in their own territory, all the way into the end zone. You think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also show that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take care of the football, run be it, safe. be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a fantasy guy's call. That was like a video game call right there. It was a little bit of a video game call, but it worked. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Try to fight his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Oh my God, my God, my God. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? <laughs> it's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. Goskowski the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. Mahomes going to throw. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? 
you should be <laughs> just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence <laughs> to the contrary <laughs> on that last possession, though. <laughs> Mahomes now on first down. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here we go now. Green 90. Green 90. Up. Mahomes now on first down. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. This will be caught inside the 10. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Butker able to put this one through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're still down, but they are able to salvage three here heading into the lockers. This is what you work on from the beginning of training camp. Heading into the half, put some points on the board. No matter what the score says at that point, you've accomplished what you set out to do. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. So the Patriots coming out now. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. 220! 220! And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. A CD, one thing you and I haven't discussed now that we are in the playoffs, now we know how the start of the draft is going to go. You look at the top five, Arizona, San Fran, Jets at three, Raiders, wherever they may be at four, Tampa Bay five. What are your thoughts? Well, immediately, this is going to be different in 2019 than 2018 because in 2018, it was all about the quarterbacks. I don't think that's going to be the case. You just mentioned the top five. 
you can make a legitimate case that in the top five, none of those teams are in the market to select a quarterback. So now, who is? I think you got to get to number six with the New York Giants. That's where the quarterback market begins. New England on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and eight. Shotgun now for Brady. To the right side, and he's got Edelman. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down, and he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. Here's Ryan Allen now. He's been terrific so far. This is taken at about the 14. A good return there, 17 yards. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. But an exciting week with a divisional round coming up on the NFC side of things, Charles. Dallas at L.A., the Rams, Philadelphia at New Orleans. What do you think? Well, I can't wait because Dallas at the Los Angeles Rams, the Rams feel like they've gotten their mojo back now. down the stretch Green, on 90. offense. Green, Dallas feels like they can pound and bruise against anyone with Ezekiel Elliott carrying the load. That's going to be a marquee game. And how about Philadelphia New Orleans, the defending Super Bowl champs. Here comes Nick Foles again. New Orleans, the number one seed at home. They don't lose at home in the Drew Brees, Sean Payton era in the playoffs. This is going to be fun. Remember, they played earlier this year. And New Orleans wiped out Philadelphia. And you'll be calling that game. Enjoy it, partner. Can't wait. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here we go. Green, 39. And they'll go with a ground attack here. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Green, green, 90, They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you, that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing, but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now. Green, Making some big time Green, plays, getting Green, into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a couple yards there, and that's gonna set up a long third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Throwing now is Mahomes. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. I don't think that was a blitz, was it? No, not at all. I mean, there was no blitz called on the play. Had other responsibilities, but he saw an opportunity, saw a path, and he took it. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And 
And the kick by Butker is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And a pretty slick return there as he's up just shy of the 45-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 43. Wait 20, wait 20. They'll try to get this offense going with Michelle, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one good for 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. Partner, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. On second down, Michelle, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. Open man, Gronkowski complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand let's go, what let's they go. can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he finds big 87. Brady, this will be caught at about the six. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Now Brady. Has a man. Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And on the ground they go with a running back. Space to maneuver at the 40. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Whether well, it's what we call an even front or an odd front. And an odd front's real easy to figure out. If that guy is lined up over the nose of the center, typically that's an odd front defense. Odd number of people, meaning 3-4 versus the 4-3, which is an even front. You've got to control go, those guys in the middle. Whether it's the nose or the two defensive tackles in a four-man front, if those guys can't get moved, you cannot run the ball in the middle of the field. And in that play, they were able to actually take care of business. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Okay, let's face it. Most of the offensive linemen in today's NFL, they're going to weigh over 300 pounds. But that doesn't mean they don't have agility. And the way that they can get out in front of a runner and create a space, sometimes it looks like they're going in one direction and the runner uses his eyes to take him in another direction because it's been blocked so well. Love those misdirectional counter plays. And Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well, and this time it was a turnover. That caught up to him. And he'll go down at the 28. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Wait, 20! Brady to throw on second down. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. A good pick up there, a 22. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? He'll get it up the middle. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. And the offense is able to pounce on it inside the five-yard line. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. They'll try to run it in, Michelle. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. This is where you're probably weighing the score and the clock third quarter so maybe it's a little early to start worrying about how much time is left in the game but if you kick the field goal you make it a two score game a tough balance and a tough decision for any coach to make and Goskowski's kick is good and that will bump the lead up to 11 a good drive gets him inside the five but they could not punch it in and credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. And they'll go on the ground. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. The Chiefs on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Now here's Mahomes. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. <laughs> so possession goes over here on the punt. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run right, what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it? touchdowns and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29 just shy of the 30. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here grind out some yardage work on that clock see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely you want to bleed things out at this point right continue to possess the football gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts what are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. To throw it's Brady. Across the formation, he's got a man, that's Allen. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, a clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. Wait, 20. From midfield, here's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. When a coaching staff sees their team run the ball this successfully in the fourth quarter, they're really excited because you can plan for a running game all you want and want to press that advantage when you get it. But for the most part, it's a little bit of a surprise. And right now, they've got to keep that going. Want to continue to grind out the clock because it's definitely in their favor at this stage of the game. Can they close the game out and continue to do exactly what we just saw there? And that's run the football. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. Set, 
Brady now on first down. And Gronkowski's got it complete over the middle. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, it's Brady. Fighting through pressure. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Yeah, very smart play right there. Pocket collapsing around him. Love the way he moved around a little bit and avoided the sack. Let's go, let's New England go. on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This will be third and five. Now Brady again. And he's got it. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or a takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. By 20! Yeah. They'll run. This is right. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll make it third and goal. some help with this one how did he miss it wide open in the end zone he's not hurried he's not hit and somehow incomplete yeah what happened during film study that's one where he's just going to shake his head not be able to believe it six points go by the wayside on that one and goskowski's kick is good and that will get the lead up to 14. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle, right? No big plays given up, no balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, uh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now Mahomes giving to Ware on the draw. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. On second down, here's Mahomes. It's complete to Chris Conley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. 
tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running, just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Instead of a third and four, now they have to manage a third and nine after the delay of game. Ready. From the gun, it's Mahomes. A battle for it and it's intercepted. Picked off by Dante Hightower. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. Toward the sideline and look at that catch. Dragging the toes and that's going to be a first down. Well done. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing route. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Back-to-back <laughs> -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. They stay on the ground with White. Fights him off. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James White taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gaskowski now out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Ready, green, 39. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. It's Kelsey on the ground. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game, and a first down on that last catch as well. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. 
found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Mahomes now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Mahomes now to throw. He's got the hook up with Conley. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Here we go. Green, 39. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Caught here by Conley. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. They give him a gain of 38. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. Green, green, 39. Ware takes the give from Mahomes. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. to throw on second down. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Working from the gun, Mahomes. His throw incomplete. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far. Nothing going right offensively. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Here we go now. Blue 45. Blue 45. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and great? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Go, go. Fire another one Green, into the end zone. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And this is caught by Watkins for a Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Two scores down, two timeouts at their disposal. This is a critical onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Three down, three down. Wait, wait. On 
the handoff, it's Michelle. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Wait, 20! And it's Michelle once again. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As he'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. This is Michelle, and an alley to run, and he's going to get this inside the 30. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload, but you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. On the ground, this is Michelle. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. It was Reggie Ragland who got him down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Mike Ball 20. popped free. Mike Phil Duffy picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty <laughs> easy to come by. They were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.